Hello everyone. Welcome to the video and today we will understand what are two voice homerases and if you remember in the last video what we covered is DNS over coiling, we covered linking number, we covered super helical density and if you haven't seen that video I recommend you to watch uh, those those videos before watching this one. We'll talk a little bit about linking number so that concept should be clear. All right, let's start the video. Today uh, we will understand uh, what, what are topoisomerases, what are different types of topoisomerases and uh, some of the examples also. Now topoisomerases, they are important for a particular process called DNA supercoiling. And DNA supercoiling is important because you need to pack the DNA into a very, very small space. And it's a highly regulated process. Now next point is topoisomerases, they are proteins. They are proteins and they are, they are enzymes, they are a group of enzymes and their function is to you know, alter the topology of the DNA uh, by altering the, the linking number, right? And and the next point is they, they contribute to important cellular processes. One is uh, DNA replication. So that is the first process they contribute to uh, DNA replication. Second one is the packaging here. So DNA packaging is important. And during these two processes, you need to alter the linking number. You need to change the conformation of the DNA. That is why these, these proteins are important. Now, next point is uh, what are the types of topoisomerases? Now, when we talk about the types of topoisomerases, there are two basic types, type 1 and type 2. So that is the basically two different groups of topoisomerases. Inside that, you can have different types of topoisomerases. What type 1 uh, topoisomerase will do, it is going to cause the break in the DNA strand and then will pass uh, the, this another strand and then rejoin that strand that will cause uh, the change in the linking number by the increment of 1. So you can understand uh, what is the increment a change in the DNA in the linking number of the DNA so there will be the, the change as just one linking number will be will be you know altered in that DNA in case of uh, type 2 and in case of type 1 uh, we need to understand that energy is is required but not in the form of ATP it will it will take up the energy from the phosphodiester bond so ATP is not required in this case okay but in case of type 2 there will be double strand break so uh, I have written this, there will be the break in the both of the strands and ATP is, is needed for that. It's highly energy intensive process and that is the type 2. Now you can see there will be the change in the increment, increment change in the linking number will be 2. Okay, And in this center what you are seeing is when you have a relaxed and uh, the super coiled here, this is your relaxed DNA, this is your super coiled. DNA and when you treat uh, the the conformation with topoisomerases what happens that you get these bands so as you can see here multiple bands they will appear because depending upon how much you are incubating the intensity is going to increase but this will cause the increment change in the linking number because of that you can see different conformation so conformation they will appear on the uh, after the agarose electrophoresis on the agarose gel so this is uh, Highly, highly important information regarding the type uh, types of topoisomerases. Now let's move on to understanding uh, the examples. So the next point that we need to understand is uh, the examples. As you can see here, in case of uh, E. coli, right? E. coli is the bacteria, a well-studied bacteria, especially for these cellular processes. So E. coli, in case of E. coli, you have four, four of these uh, different types of topoisomerases, and uh, from one to four. So these, as I told you, these are the groups of the enzymes. In that type one are the one and three and topoisomerases of E. coli. They are type type one, right? As we as we understood in this case, you will not use ATP. So the phosphodiester diester bond will provide the energy. In this case, you will have the ATP uh, consumed for the processes. In case of type two, right here we are discussing type two of eukaryotic cells. Now uh, it will relax the DNA. Correct. It will relax the DNA and it will remove negative supercoils, especially in case of uh, uh, bacterial uh, bacterial processes. It will relax the DNA. Type one will relax the DNA and also remove uh, the negative supercoils. Means by removing these negative super supercoils, the DNA will be relaxed and that will lead to the increase in the linking number. And in case of bacterial type two topoisomerases, which is DNA gyrase. What it will do, it will introduce these negative supercoils and cause increase or sorry, decrease in the linking number. So type 2 is DNA gyrase. When we talk about uh, the eukaryotic cells, in case of eukaryotic cell, you have type 1 and type 2. 1 and 3, 
topoisomerase 1 and 3 are the type 1 and uh, they basically will not require the ATP but this type 2 will require the ATP molecules for their function. Now interestingly in case of type 2 enzymes they cannot underwind DNA molecule but they can relax the negative as well as the positive supercoils in the DNA molecule. So that is important to understand. So I think, uh, I think we have covered some of the important points in this topic. We, un we understood what is uh, topoisomerase, how it functions, uh, what are the different types, general, and then we moved on to the specific types of uh, topoisomerases with the example. Now let's also understand by using uh, AI tools that what information we'll get in more detail about this, this particular topic. All right, so let's also explore the power of AI to understand this, this topic in more detail. And let's see, you know, it will evolve uh, you know, the, the conversation with AI will evolve. It depends upon uh, how, how you're communicating, what kind of understanding you're getting from AI. Let's see what we can get. So my uh, first, you know, question to, to chat GPT is what, what are topo isomerases, right, in general. So we can, we can just start by, by asking what are topo isomerases and you can see you're getting response, a detailed response. It also depends upon what kind of setting you have for chat GPT. But fairly, let's see what kind of response we are getting from ChatGPT and, and uh, whether what we understood it's, is matching with the response we are getting. Topoisomerases are a group of enzymes so that, that we covered that these are the enzymes that play a crucial role in manipulating DNA topology, right? Because the change in linking number is happening and which refers to the three-dimensional structure and the arrangement of DNA molecule. So when we talk about DNA topology, that is the three-dimensional structure, how the DNA is arranged in that three-dimensional space. Right, and then we also have some basic information about the DNA. Correct. Let's move on to the further. Uh, this line, topoisomerases are responsible for managing these uh, structural aspects to ensure proper replication, transcription, and other cellular processes. That is that is why I was also explaining uh, the processes. Uh, you know, the the function of topoisomerase is highly regulated, and it needs to be controlled because overall it is contributing towards the process of DNA replication here. There are two types of topoisomerases, type 1, type 2, that we understood, right, in detail. So this kind of response you are also going to get. And, uh, you know, DNA gyrase that we covered, uh, this is a topoisomerase uh, type 2 enzyme, right? So that is that is correct. Uh, type 2 topoisomerases, uh, type 1, sorry, type 1, these are enzymes involved in the relaxation of the DNA supercoiling. Supercoiling occurs when the DNA helix is over or underwind, underwound due to the twisting and coiling of the double-stranded DNA molecule. Okay, moving on to further, so, you know, when, when you ask questions like this, right, you are going to get a general response. So, let's, let's take this, uh, take this further and ask a few more questions, like uh, we can ask uh, main difference, right, main uh, difference between type 1 and type 2. So, that could be the second, um, second question and you can, you can dig more, uh, you know, into this particular topic, mechanism of action. That is something I think uh, we also covered. These enzymes work by introducing single strand break in the DNA molecule, allowing the DNA to rotate and reveal uh, tension. They do not require input of energy in the form of ATP for their catalytic activity. Type 2 topoisomerases, these enzymes work by introducing double strand break in the DNA molecule, passing another segment of DNA through the break and uh, revealing the, the break. Okay, so nature of DNA break and then synapses, uh, subtypes, sorry, and examples. So they, you can you can dig really, really deep into this particular thing. So let's see, ask this question again. Uh, does topoisomerase require energy for their function, right? Let's see. Yes, topoisomerase do uh, require energy for their function, then it's necessary to carry out enzyme processes. Uh, right, type typically do not require ATP for their catalytic activity. Uh, they use the energy stored in the DNA phosphodiester bond. So this is something very, very unique to topoisomerase. Uh, and type 1 enzyme, in case of type 2, it requires the ATP uh, for their catal uh, catalytic activity uh, by introducing double strand break. So sometimes you'll see that type 1 will cause single strand or double strand break. In case of type 2, you have always the double strand break. Uh, and it is highly in energy dependent process, right? In summary, while the specific mechanism and energy requirement may differ between type 1 and 2 topoisomerases, both type of enzyme use energy to carry out their role. So energy is required. It depends uh, from where the energy is coming from. Type For type 1, the energy, uh, right, according to this information, type the energy is coming from the DNA phosphodiester bonds. 
in the case of type 2, ATP is required, right? So I think in the same way, you can also keep on, uh, you know, exploring this particular topic in more detail. We have also mentioned uh, that ATP is required for the topoisomerase 2 activity, but here then we explain more for, for type 1 from where the energy is coming and for type 2, how the energy is, um, uh, you know, being utilized in the form of ATP. All right, so I hope uh, that the lecture was useful for you to understand this particular topic. And, and uh, it, the information is available at your fingertips and you can you can uh, do the same thing and I will also make more videos where you can I can help you out how we can uh, basically understand the knowledge that is there in the textbooks and how we can you know explore the advancement in that particular topic by using the AI we can we can uh, do that for all the videos and uh, future videos I hope uh, that it is going to help you to understand or uh, you know you will get more information uh, in terms of what is available in the literature as well as uh, in various uh, sources like uh, artificial intelligence based uh, these uh, tools okay so i'll meet you in the next video till then take care and study hard